Hello, I'm Andy Singh and uh, I'm going to read to you um, your horoscope for the first week of January for you coming from Scorpio and Happy New Year. Let's start with Sunday the 1st. Now, this is a day where all good possibilities are there for you. How you can spoil it is by being arrogant and having a poor sense of teamwork and by saying things which are very sarcastic for example and also don't be stubborn and don't be too pushy if you can control all these things and not do them it can turn out to be a very good day for you it's a day where you will feel very important but then you may find that others have their own uh, things to discuss as well so try not to, as I said, feel too important and mix with people and bond with people. In your career and in your, in your area of romance and marriage, don't let arrogance be the spoiler and don't want to dominate and take control of any situation. If you're working, then watch out in your, with your colleagues or if you're talking business with somebody on this first day of, of January, then tell yourself you have to be very polite with them and you have to be um, not sarcastic or definitely not too pushy. So it's all up to you. The day is positioning itself to be very helpful to you or to be in a way not very helpful to you. The evening session is very nice. You can meet people who can be very helpful for you. Monday the second is going to be a very difficult day for you. Difficult in the sense that emotional planets are very weak and uh, you emotionally become distressed very easily. Past issues come into play and bring depression further. And the present day, the 2nd of January, also can bring disagreements in areas of career, business or in romance or marriage areas. Be careful how you approach people. Don't show your temper and definitely don't want to be oversensitive to criticism which may be proving to be good for you. There are, there are a couple of planets who will make a play in and out to help you but they come in briefly and leave you again after a while. So the majority of the planets until the evening session are not very helpful. During the evening session and the late evening and the night session a very good planet comes into play and brings unexpectedly good luck, unexpected meetings which are good for you. So it's a good idea to socialize. Try not to be too moody or too oversensitive. Otherwise, you will find that you tend to spoil even the evening session. So good opportunities are waiting for you during the evening session. So go ahead and, and socialize. Tuesday the 3rd is a much, much better day for you. It produces support in career and business. It makes you lucky in communications and marketing skills. It brings about opportunities coming your way in all areas of your life. So if looking for romance, communicate and you will see that romance comes your way. In marriage areas, you will do very well. The only spoiler can be two things. One is if you argue too much and secondly, if you are too dominating. So don't do these two things and you have the whole day on your side to make you very happy and lucky. Wednesday the 4th starts very well. It brings very good possibilities in the morning, afternoon and early evening session. But as the day moves on, even in the afternoon session, there's a cluster of planets who want to be disturbing all progress and stability. So tell yourself to control spending, number one, and not bring up issues which are very touchy, whether in your romance, marriage, career or business areas. And as the day moves on to the evening and late evening and night session, this cluster of negative planets have more control and they bring disappointments of all kinds. So don't be too expectant of getting your way all the time throughout the day but more so during the evening and night session and don't over drink and don't um, get into a situation where you create disharmony between you and others especially during the evening and night sessions 
the eve morning session and afternoon session are going very well for you in career or business. Thursday the 5th is going to be a very good day for you and a good day in the sense that good news comes for you in Scorpio and also good news in areas of career or business where financial good news makes you very happy. Now, there is a little cluster of planets who want let down and um, disagreements come your way as well. This has got to do with what's happening behind the scenes. So there's a secret element that's brewing alongside and uh, you don't want to be part of this secret element. So stay away from people who want to share secrets with you or want to be making you part of their secret um, plans. Stay away from that. Now the evening session is when these negative planets come into full play. So the evening session can bring a danger of accidents, so don't drink too much and can bring suddenly a good uh, 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 friendship turning into a nasty one. So enemies can be created very easily during the evening session. Be careful how you speak and what you say to people. So the day starts very well, but the evening session can be a little bit troublesome. Your good planets will be there in the evening session as well. Okay, so you can manage the day by not showing your temper and by using words which are polite. Friday the 6th is going to be a very difficult day for you. Difficult in the sense that everything you try to do is going to either backfire or create differences between you and others. Things of the past are coming into play. So the blame or the things done wrongfully of the past can now bring blame on the Friday the 6th against you. The areas of romance and marriage are not stable and your career and business areas are also shaky. So the last thing you want to do is to create disruption by showing your temper, by showing your tendency to be um, not respecting traditional rules, for example. So don't do that. Okay. As the day moves on to the evening session and the night session, the, the day comes more and more, the night time comes more and more under your control. And uh, although these planets are slow, they cannot create harmony too quickly for you but the repair will come slowly during the evening and night session so that you can um, um, uh, help yourself to repair what earlier damages were done. Saturday the 7th is going to be a difficult day for you. You've got negative planets and you've got your best planets alongside. So the best way would be to stay away from people who are anti-management or who are talking about corruption in some way or another or who want to take you out for drinking too much. So be very careful and choosy of the company you keep on Saturday the 7th. Also there can be some dangers of either misleading secrets popping up or some kind of misleading news that will make you very unhappy and in turn make others unhappy too. Your best planet is a little slow during Saturday the 7th but he picks up speed as the late evening and the night session comes in. So you tend to get luckier when it's the evening, late evening and night session. So you can use that period to solve all the earlier problems that, that were not solvable and also to be able to think clearly and come up with solutions for yourself. So every opportunity to turn Saturday the 7th to become a good day for you from the late afternoon, evening and night session onwards. And that's my prediction for you for the first week of January for you coming from Scorpio. By all means, keep in touch with me on uh, Facebook. I know many of you are waiting to have the horoscope done through Skype. The delay is because the payment gateway is not ready due to regulatory um, uh, requirements and um, in the meantime uh, stay in touch on Facebook and we can communicate that way and I will let you know as soon as I'm able to start on Skype. In the meantime Happy New Year again and good luck for whatever you want to try to do in your lifetime.